Alright, well, let's go in here, see what's up. Could you take a look at this lock? Really? <clears throat> that little old lock. Got it. Bronco's my favorite one as far as usefulness. It's really good at keeping you from getting killed in a crappy situation. You just float a bunch of dudes. Ew. Here's where I keep my blood. And over here's my Tesla coil. And back here, you don't want to know. And back here is where I keep my demon spirit mother. Yeah, no kidding. Yikes. They're like, we don't care about the way this house looks. We're putting in a doohickey. <gasps> ah! Salt, please. Just what the doctor ah! ordered. Is it JTW? That's interesting. And there's the Eiffel Tower. Is this where I came in? Wait, what's this room? This is where I came in? This is where I came in. It's going to do something to me when I get close to it. This is their coffee machine. Oh, what the? Do you see that? Rosalind. Comstock seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. A theory. Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. Hmm. So he became infertile before she was born? My theories are starting to sound more valid. Hey, hey, that ain't supposed to be there. Alright, here we go. You are! That's my mother. I assure you, madam, my sexual interest in your dear prophet is non-existent. To Madame Lutas. Furthermore, the man is quite sterile. That's a lie. Come here, you little bastard! I want her out of my house! Knew it. Understand what? Why would the twins send us to find three truths? Were, were the tears somehow related through a, a kind of quantum field, or were they? Elizabeth, they wanted you to understand her. Who? You mean? Oh. Yeah. <sighs> right, come on. Okay, let's come on. Lady Comstock seems to believe the child is a result of some errant act of carnality between myself and her beloved prophet. I told the poor woman the truth, that the child was a product of our little contraption, but I think she found that less believable than her delusion.
You're a wizard, bring down. Tell me where to go. Wait. Hold on. They're going this way. Excelsior! Canned meats. That sounds way too epic for a canned meat store. Aaron's trying to get his taxes done right now. We already went in here, right? Yeah. To control me. Back. Was it telling me to go? They just told me to come down here. Return to the Comstock house gate, okay. The footprints were like going two different directions. kind of weird because one of the footprints is going backwards. This thing, is it? Elizabeth seems to think this is it. I don't think this is it. It's a graveyard. Elizabeth starring in heavy rain. And anyone who knew the truth was better dead than alive. I'm not even his daughter. I'm just some specimen to be poked and prodded. No, you are not. Elizabeth, listen to me. What you've been through, ain't nobody in the world deserves that. Look her. We are getting out of here. You got it? And you're never gonna have to look back. Whoops. <laughs> you're never gonna have to look back. Boom! Rosalind Lutas is not my mother. And neither are you. Nope, I'm not your mother. Oh, you mean her. I know you hate me for not being uh, your daughter. And I hated you for not being my mother. Uh. Oh, what the? Oh, man. Whoa, she knocked me across the map. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's floating freaking mines around me. I didn't even notice that. Getting salt when they die. Sweet. That one now on it. Oh, what's throwing stuff at me? I'm dead. Some guy was shooting rockets at me. I didn't realize it until it was too late. Inject me. Inject me with your injections. Wow, that was a lot of explosions. Supplies. 
Boom! I hit that guy in mid air. Thank you for killing my devil mother. Quick, get a hot dog! You need hot dogs in the middle of fighting. That Kobayashi kid, Kobayashi kid, was in a fight like this. He'd be eating hot dogs like every five seconds to keep his uh, stamina up. This guy died a little awkwardly. Eh. Yeah, in those fights you have to focus um you have to focus all of your ammo on her as much as possible. And I use my salts on the other bad guys because if you don't um you don't have enough ammo to beat the fight without picking up other weapons and stuff. I should go back and fill up my ammo and stuff, but I'm not gonna. Hand cannon is crazy good, man. The burst gun kind of sucks for being accurate. Hey, thanks for the YouTube subs there. Appreciate that. Thanks for the retweets, Doughboy. And that's it. Only Doughboy. Oh. Talking to you guys anymore? Just kidding. Um, yeah, so if you're new here and we're doing the giveaway for Bioshock One and Two today, the way to win is to I'm going to draw the winner. That's epic looking. I'm going to draw the winner from my Twitter followers, my YouTube subscribers, and my Steam group members. So from those three combined, I'm going to draw the winners. And, I'll, and most people are most people are on those three. All three of those. That means they've got three chances they've got three entries if you're on all three you got three entries I'm just gonna count them all up together and whoever wins wins tweets are better than retweets yep well either one works this is so cool looking Didn't give me anywhere to fill up my ammo. This might not be good. Oh, what the? Oh my god. Why does his eye crack in that earlier part? Uh oh.
I can tell if your accounts are new or not, but the Blackrock shooter. Bring us the girl and, and wipe away the, the debt. debt. We're back in this office thing of his. Hey, her hair's long again. Oh man. What? I can actually open this door now? That bird's molesting her. Lady Elizabeth, God speed thy judgment. Some men dream of money. What the? Some men dream of love. My father dreamt of a flood of fire. We were given Eden, and we turned it into Sodom. Why do we deserve salvation? The Lord gave Noah a fish in the form of a flood. But he was not so easy on me. He said, Prophet, I want you to train a nation of fishermen.
Can you not kill these things? I don't like being attacked by crazy looking midget George Washingtons and Benjamin Franklins. And what the hell was that thing with the bell head? Oh, and I have no ammo. Damn it! I gotta find a way in. Listen, I just want to see the girl. What were those? Doesn't matter. I just got to get to the warden's office. Please, please, Mom, it's this place. Just, just send me back to my tower. It's too late for that now, child. Your father gave you a lovely home. And you chose to destroy it. Dr. Pettifog? He's not my father. It's her. I suppose the siphon is a kind of leash. Yes, my father put it on me. But when the time came, neither did I remove it myself. I took off the leash, and I found I was as obedient as ever. What's up, Mighty Cupcake? How you doing? Bum, bum, bum. I guess you can't kill those guys. Not that quick anymore. Thanks for telling me. Yay, loot. <sighs> Run for it. Oh, here we go. 
Sunrise. William R. Foreman, 1909, number 68. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> yeah, JTW. Wow. Hmm. Well. Stop telling me that. Where we lie. Scared the crap out of me. Fifty salts. Hey, look over there. Where we weep, where we cleanse. Ugh. Where we weep, where we weep about our ammo that we need. Completely nuts in this one. Where we keep warm. Alright. Oh man, that's a good cheese stick. Child, would you like to pray with me? You're hurting me. Please just let me go. We're going to cure you. I'm not sick. Your spirit is. All I ever wanted is to you live up to your potential. I've seen this chair before. Hmm. I ain't sitting in it. You forget about that. Did we go to where we cleanse yet? I guess not. Pear. I don't need a pair. I need some freaking bullets, man. That's what I need. Look at that. Ah! That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, man. What the hell? That's, uh... That's disgusting. You know what I thought that was at first? <laughs> you see how it's a head and it's got the little legs on the wheelchair? The little legs on the wheelchair? I thought it was a tiny little George Washington head with two little legs. I was looking over to the left at something and I heard a noise and then I saw that thing rolling out over there. <laughs> 